My challenge, I had to book The Undertaker's career ending, but leaving him undefeated at WrestleMania. So here we go. We start off by this. I will start off with this in my record book. Undertaker actually ends up beating Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, by the way. That never, he should have never ended the streak there. He beats Brock Lesnar, Bray Wyatt, and Shane McMahon, respectively, leaving him at exactly 23 and 0 at WrestleMania. That doesn't change everything. It's the same, except Brock Lesnar does not win. Do you guys like it so far? Good. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. Fast forward, because this actually ties in, because I think how he should have actually ended his career. Although, although I will say the Boneyard match wasn't bad, but there were some things in between that were a little bit eh. But this mm. is how I think it should have really ended to begin with. At Survivor Series 2 2016, especially because that's where he debuted, Undertaker makes an appearance via a video, video package, all that fun stuff. Says he will turn to Raw the next night. Oh, look at that. Survivor Series 2016, pretty good. Undertaker saying he's coming back. That makes it even better. On the opening yeah. segment of Raw, Undertaker comes out and says every man has a dead end, and he has 29 holes for 29 souls, but no mention of the Royal Rumble, which, I mean, come on, people. We actually know, but it doesn't actually officially declare for it for the world. We don't actually – it doesn't really happen, too. And while this is all going on, do you guys remember what happened in 2016 for the Universal Championship? Remember what happened? Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns had a little bit of a feud going on, right? You guys all remember mm -hmm. that old mm -hmm. day feud and everything. That feud is still going on. They have their feud. It's the same way. It's the same thing up until the Royal Rumble. However, well, actually, before that, sorry, the pay per view before, I believe it was TLC. Reigns loses via DQ or wins it via DQ after Chris mm -hmm. Jericho interferes for Owens, you know, because DQ mm -hmm. Reigns wins but doesn't get the title. So he gets the same rematch at the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble match, where well, we saw what happened at the Royal Rumble. Chris Jericho was in a cage, Shark Tank, all that stuff, too. <laughs> However, Owens doesn't actually win, though. Reigns actually beats Owens for the Universal title because at the time, Jericho broke free of the cage but costed Owens the title. And it sets up a little bit of a little plot lines for an Owens-Jericho feud. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. for another time. Personally, this would have been a little bit different, but, I, but I'm following Albert's rules with the twist, with mm -hmm. the Undertaker and all that stuff, too. So two other feuds going all over the place. I hope you guys are with me so far, right? Yes. Yeah. Now to the Royal Rumble. The same exact participants. However, at number 30, who comes out? Gong. Because remember, people forgot. He hasn't been on TV since the Raw saying 29 holes. When I saw people probably forget wrestling fans. Mm -hmm. Because Vince is like, wrestling fans are stupid. They're not going to remember that. <laughs> I probably wouldn't remember that. Comes no. out at 30. And oh my gosh, everyone's crazy. Surprise, I just read 30. Undertaker's back too. But the And the final four is the Undertaker, obviously. And three others that you remember he's had past feuds with. Chris Jericho, Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton. Remember, he had feuds with all three of them, particularly mm. Orton with the Legend Killer. And all the guys, the, all the guys that he went up with the past troubles, he eliminates them in order. Undertaker by himself. Jericho first, Orton, and Wyatt. Wyatt and Undertaker in the final two for the Royal Rumble would be, whew, that would be incredible. Mm. All fine and dandy. The next night on Raw, Reigns comes out, you know, Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. Oh, you said blah, 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 blah. Uh, It's a big dog. And he, and he says, this is his yard. And Wrestle, and points to the WrestleMania. I had to add that on there. WrestleMania is his yard. Oh, but mm -hmm. I realize I don't take her. Won the Royal Rumble, but whatever. We think he's going for the WWE title because he's a WWE guy. Doesn't go for Universal title because it's a tomato belt. Whatever. <laughs> Fast forward to Wrestling. No pun. Actually, look, you know what? I didn't oh, I thought you were going to give yourself the ding. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't actually intentionally make to do that, but <laughs> it worked here. So perfect. Reigns defeated Owens in his rematch clause because I still give rematch clauses here because it kind yeah. of ends in wrestling storyline. Because Jericho costed Owens the match. And they mm -hmm. have their and their matches officially happening at WrestleMania, but I'm not booking that because that's for another story at another time. But mm. after the match, Reigns wins, and everything's like, oh, boo. Blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, the gong hits. A Ding. gong hits. And RIP, I just had to put this on there. You hear Paul Bearer's laugh in, mm -hmm. the, in the speakers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RIP, I had to put Paul Bearer. You have to put him in. Of course. Of course. An appearance here. And on the video, there's a tombstone that makes an appearance. And it says Roman Reigns with the date that he was born. And the date being 4 2 2017. And you're probably wondering, what does that date 
what does that date mean? Does anybody know? Anyone? Wrestle, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah. WrestleMania 33. That is the date of WrestleMania 33. So it is official. Reigns versus Undertaker for the Universal Championship. A little spin, a little twist there. Mm-hmm. Makes fast lane important. Look at that. Pay views for WrestleMania. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh God, you've got it. You made turned him into Paul Bear. You really did a cover our life really good, by the way. So Reigns and Undertaker. I never really face to face. I'm not late, you guys. You guys, you guys are way too. It's all right, Brian. You're you. you're just in time to hear the end of Fonz's uh, booking challenge, Brian. I got a Don't couple worry. more here. So Reigns and Undertaker never face to face. You know how this all big championship feud is with Undertaker. Yep. They never actually do face to face, but calls back to a little bit of the Undertaker Randy Orton thing, where there's mind games going on. Taker plays some mm. mind games with Reigns. You know, maybe the bathroom thing, where like he looks if he's in the mirror. Mm. Uh, you know, if something happens in a match, lights go off. The whole yada yada yada. So the main, so we go to main, the rain. Sorry, the main event of WrestleMania. They the square off. Event. The, you say the rain. God, the mic. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so sorry. to go on to the match itself, it starts off by. By the way, Undertaker's entrance for this. It's great. There's the Druids, by the way, and this is the piss off Mike. But guess who makes an appearance as a Druid as a background character? Michael Nakazawa. They used him for that as a Druid. God, why do you got to work him in everything? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even write this part. I forgot to add that. I actually had a Michael Nakazawa part. That's my one, Michael Nakazawa. He plays a Druid in The Undertaker's Entrance, which, by the why way, would, you, why would he do that? I don't know. That's it. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. Anything can happen in the WWE. I know. Continue. Yes. Knock, and knock, and knock, and knock is out. Anyway, by the way, just picture, just picture a Reigns WrestleMania entrance and the Undertaker one for that one, too. Oh, be so good. It starts off with a five minute stare down. And this is awesome, Chance, because you're thinking like they're finally face to face in a ring. Because remember, Reigns wasn't in the Royal Rumble because he won the match. He didn't go into that Royal Rumble. Under- so they never actually face off. So they finally did. It's like, this is awesome and all that stuff, too. Mm-hmm. It's actually going to be a node because this is actually the longest reign of Undertaker match in WrestleMania history. The longest one was a 35-minute bout against Triple H a few years before. I'm going to mm-hmm. put this at a 40 minutes. Yes, I can have Undertaker going for a good old 40 minutes because Reigns does his thing. But the Undertaker hits all of his classic moves. You know, the tightrope walk that he does. I love that. That's a very underrated move, by the way. At his size, how the hell does he do that, by the oh, way? Oh, I know. My other one, too, the classic jump over the apron, like the swan dive mm. over the apron, too. And I don't know what this one's called, but, like, when he's on the side of the ring, he does the leg drop. I don't know. It's just called the leg drop on the side. I think it's just an apron leg drop, technically. I don't know if, I don't know yeah, if, I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know if he had a special move, but he hits all the classic moves from past the present there's all the classic moves and reigns does the who the big dog all that fun stuff so the all clean, the rings oh oh, oh man <laughs> we're going so good during the closing moment you're so mad with the doc because i was referenced by the way during the closing moments reigns tries to hit him with a superman punch and he's like Whoa, hits him up too but the undertaker gets up does the whole like the just sit up. Okay. Everyone's like, oh my god. Reigns gets down for a second and goes back Roar? and tries to do. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> not even but, and what ready? Undertaker catches him, flips him over to a tombstone. One, or one, two, three. And we got ourselves a champion. The Undertaker is the Universal Champion, the first time Universal Champion in WWE. Now, after the match. Undertaker. He's 24 WrestleMania, by the way. Good for him, right? This mm. is what I think he should have retired to begin with at this point. I think that was the mm-hmm. best time overall. Uh, but after the match, Undertaker with the belt in hand does a callback to what he said at Survivor Series or the day after. Every man has a dead end. It is time to officially rest in peace. Mm. Puts his hat and the belt in the middle of the ring. The light shines in. Does the kneel down and does that. The whole thing, the whole like the whole music and everything goes up to the ramp and walks up and gives Roman Reigns a handshake because Reigns is out there and saying, You got next. And that's how the Undertaker officially retires from the WWE as a champion, 24 and 0. Okay. Michael Murphy's our record. 